I'm here today with Galan and she is a nomad crafter and we're gonna look at some of her jewelry that she makes. Um, Galan, tell me a little bit about yourself and oh. where you're from. Hi, uh, I am from originally from Canada but I've been living in US for 25 years now and I'm living on a road for two and a half years. I'm a full-time nomad, the best life ever. Yes. And uh, here comes my little oh. co-pilot here. This is Miss Leila, Leila Lou. She's a very quiet little dog. She's pretty cool. And she enjoy the lifestyle. Oh. She's a sweetie. She is. She is very, very mellow. So tell me, how did jewelry making come into your life? Um, one day I had a spinal injury and I had a surgery and I had to be in my recuperating for a long time and I was bored and a friend of mine, his wife just passed away, brought home one night a box of beads and uh, he said, I hope it's going to keep you busy. I've always been an avid crafter. I like to sew and I'm a blanket maker. Oh, wow. And um, I never played with beads before. And I remember that night being in my bed and opening that box and all excited with all these colors and the shapes. That was it that day. And I said, I think that would be my next hobby. And since then, it's been my full time hobby. And how long have you been doing it? I was about 10 years now. Wow. I always have beads out somewhere like in a, I can do it. I love it. It's to put the colors together, the, everything. Basically, I love everything about it. So tell me what inspires you on making a certain necklace or you have necklace, anklets and bracelets. Is that correct? Yes, I have necklaces. I have adult bracelets, anklets, and I have a little kids collection also. And uh, so, what, what inspires your creativity? You know, it's I'm very visual. I'm all about colors, creative. So I'm very creative. And uh, if I drive somewhere and I see something or different area, I sometimes bring a different flavor, different colors. And that I remember last year when I started to travel a full time and driving through area, I realized after then my work was changing also. The colors, the, oh, wow. the shapes, and, uh, but whatever I feel, you know, and often when I go, I look at my beads, I can tell you how it looks like when it's going to be done because it's such a pleasure for me to do that. So tell me what makes your jewelry so unique. Uh, first of all, I will never do twice the same, never. I can do something similar if you have like you and your friend want something, but I will make a different class or something like that. And every single piece I make have that little heart on it saying made with love because it's really true. I really do love making jewelry and but that would be my trademark basically. And um so the bracelets have it or just the necklaces? Every uh, single everything. piece. Okay. Even the little kids one, they have one, you see? Oh. <gasps> this is my trademark. What started everything, it's this. And this is what I call embrace diversity. Let me explain you why. When I got that box of beads that night, I realized they were all different. And I didn't know what to do with it. And uh, I decided anyway to put them on a string. And I looked at them and said, well, this is kind of pretty. And after that, I said, you know, let's pretend each bead is a different human being, a different race, a different religion, a different political side. Um, yeah. But if you put them all together, it looks beautiful. And embrace diversity for me is very important also because it means a lot. Uh, if you met someone who is different, who have a different culture, who is totally different than you, go for that person. Go, because you're going to learn something. Yeah. And uh, this is what I, I call embracing diversity. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's 
I love that. I love the lesson in that and represented each one of those beads are different. And it looks kind of pretty. Oh, it's very pretty. When you wear it. Yes. And uh, that would be on a different, on my Etsy page because, yes, I do have an Etsy page. And what is your Etsy page? It's Road Beads by Guylain. Okay. And, uh, and I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you. And um, I'm posting every day because in the course of the years, I've been making a lot of jewelry. And before, it was easy for me to stop in a craft fair or, you know, a flea market to rent a table for the day and sell and keep going. But now, because of COVID, uh, most of these little places are closed now. And yeah. I had to find another avenue to share my jewelry with people. I have different, like, departments in my Etsy store. And I do necklaces. I do women's unisex bracelets, basically. And it's well indicated on my site, you know, which one are women kids or and I also have the anklets they were very popular in the 80s and they seems to want to come back this is a big seller of mine the anklets last year when I was selling my jewelry in front of uh, Salvation Mountain in Slab City uh, a lady came with the most beautiful little girl and uh, they were asking me if I have jewelry for children and I didn't have any. And I told her, come back next week. And I left. And I went into my hiding spot. And uh, sat there for the whole week and produced a whole collection of little kids' jewelry. And like this one, she came back the week after. I had what she was looking for. And uh, this is the little kids' collection. Tell me about your hat. This is Junior Ranger. Tell me about that. I have another passion also, is to do the national parks. And uh, I am a proud Junior Ranger. <laughs> and uh, I started to collect so the cool. badges last year, two years ago. And I did like uh, 41 American national parks so far. Wow. And I don't have all the badges, but uh, when I'm going to be done doing it, I will have 408 badges. Oh, my gosh. And uh, this is basically my two uh, hobby, my two passion keeps me going. I'm selling my jewelry to make some money to put gas in my RV to keep going to national parks. Wow. It's like they go together. Yes. My two passions. Right. This this selling your beads supports this passion. joy, yeah, and this passion of going to see so many national parks. That is so cool. Often my pictures of my jewelry will be taken in the nature. I don't do studios. Yeah, I take my own pictures in the nature. In nature, so you don't do any kind of um, in-house photography i, I mean, do for one here. pose for one oh, okay. picture but three-fourth of my pictures almost all of them are taken outside on rocks on trees in national parks or... thank you very much jana for your visit and thank you it was an honor for me to have you over to visit me and also thank you for talking about my jewelry Oh, I enjoyed it. I've been watching you uh, take pictures of your jewelry, and I've enjoyed watching you do. Thank you so much. And also, uh, thank you for that beautiful slogan you gave me for my business, which I'm going to put on my Etsy page, is when you have one of mine, you have one of a kind. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> but it is really true, you know. Everything yep. is unique here. Then I want to say bye bye, everybody. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs>